another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and this is going to be the first in a two-part series of subnetting tricks. I'm assuming that you already know how to subnet the real way or the, the textbook way. Here is where we teach you how to be faster. And by being faster, you can then pass the Cisco CCNA test and beyond. So if you know the regular way you'll and you try to do it in the test, you'll probably run out of time and fail, unfortunately. So here with subnetting, let's just do a little review of a table that you were probably taught. So in regular subnetting and slow subnetting, you were taught that a table starts with 128, 64, 32, 16, and you basically keep cutting in this in half until you reach one. And you've probably been told to put this table on the piece of paper or sheet of plastic that you're given at the test location, and this will help you with your subnetting. And you know you could look at a previous video to figure that out. So the problem with this table, it's very, very slow. Okay, I'm going to teach you a new table that you should remember. Yes, unfortunately, this is a another table, yet another table to remember, but it's actually very easy to make. And uh, once you do this, once you've made this table enough times, you don't need to worry about it anymore. It'll be uh, pretty much burned into your head. So this table starts off with the same. It starts off at 128. That's not a problem. But then the next number is 192. Well, where do we get 192? Well, 192 is 128 and 64 added together it gives us 192. We are pre-adding our numbers so that it's quicker. Okay, so we're compressing the steps in our subnetting. And I'll show you how it works in a, a couple seconds. So 192 plus 32 gives us 224. 224 plus 16 gives us 240. And we continue the addition, 248, 252, 254, and 255. Okay, so this is a new table to remember, and it's going to definitely help you in subnetting. And here's what I mean. Let's say Cisco gives you a subnet mask in slash notation, and they say, tell me what the decimal notation, decimal representation of this slash notation is. Well, if you've been studying, hopefully, you know that the easy ones are slash 8, slash 16, and slash 24. The reason these are easy is because they are in multiples of 8 and 8 bits, 16 bits, 24 bits. The 8-bit one was simply 255 in the first part and followed by a series of zeros. The slash 16 was 255 in the first two parts followed by two zeros. So that's easy. And then a slash 24 you guessed it, was 255 in the first three parts, followed by a zero. Easy stuff, right? So now, let's say Cisco throws you a curveball, right? Instead of the very easy slash eight, they give you a, let's make it, let's make it hard. Let's make it a slash 11. All right. So with the slash 11, okay, all you have to do is look at this and say, okay, well, 11 is between eight and 16. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to have that part. Okay, that part's going to be there, 255. And then what I'm going to do is take 8 from 11. 8 from 11 is 3, so 11 minus 8 is another way you could say it. Three spots. Okay, three spots. Bam, three spots. 224, 0, 0. That is a slash 11. Okay, let's do a slash, uh, slash 14, okay? Slash 14 is between eight and 16. So this first part is gonna be the same, this, this part right here. So 255 is gonna be there. And okay, 14, or eight minus, or 14 minus eight. Okay, what is that? That's six. One, two, three, four, five, six, boom. 255. 252, zero, zero. That's a slash 14. Okay, it's that easy. Okay, so that's pretty cool. What if they give you a slash, uh, something that's not within the, after this slash eight and before slash 16, 
What if it's a slash, let's say 20 slash 20? Well, 20 is in between 16 and 24. So the first two parts are going to be the same. So 255, 255. And then the question is, what do we get for this third spot there? Okay, so 255, 255. What we do is we take 20, take 16 from 20. That gives us four. One, two, three, four. Boom, that's a 240. So 240.0 for our four spots. It's that easy. This table right here, the 128, 192, 224 table, if you make that table, you will speed yourself up on any subnet mask notation, the slash notation, convert it into the dotted decimal format. So that is part one of your subnetting tricks. Learn this table by heart, 128, 192, 224. You also might want to also put this table on your sheet. Uh, you probably will anyways, but this table is the one to learn to speed up your subnetting. And in the next video, I'll show you how this will work in determining how many hosts and how many networks you can get from a particular IP address. Thanks for watching.